Welcome back. Well, most people have never heard of this particular hobby, but for the past eight years, one group has come to the valley to ride the railroad tracks from Benitez to Rio Grande City. Here's Rick Diaz with today's Con Mi Gente. They're small enough. They fit on a small trailer. They're fairly easy to push around. And on most, there's only room for two people. It's part of the heritage of the railroad. These cars were used by the maintenance crews on the railroad back from back in the 20s into the 50s to move the uh, the track crews up and down the rails and spec. They get on the tracks that are crossing in Peñitas, but they cannot just use any tracks anywhere. We have to stay out of the way of those trains, or they'll swoop us off the track. The rails they are using belong to the Border Pacific Railroad out of Rio Grande City. It's a good hobby for them. And it's, it's, a good, uh, it's a good project down here for the valley and for South Texas, so we're happy to cooperate. Uh, this one's a Fairmont uh, 1952 model. Most members used to work for the railroad, but not all. A friend of mine had one of these and told me about it, and I'm going, oh, I want to do that too. So I looked around and found one to buy, and here I am. Hi, Mom. They make their last-minute checks. You don't have to steer. There's no steering wheel. <laughs> it's a little noisy, but, but fun. <laughs> different scenery than you see anywhere else. Lena and... knows the rules about the crossing. I'm pretty sure you guys... Last minute instructions. But then it's time to get started. The plan is to go from Peñitas to Rio Grande City, have lunch, and then make the trip back. And it's true about the scenery. It seems to change every few minutes not a view you see from the expressway. And each car is an individual. They are not connected in any way, low to the ground and in a fun cruise. And each one very aware of automobile traffic, especially as they cross those unmarked crossings. It's just an enjoyable ride. Just cruising. Oh, they're vintage. Uh, some of them here are at least 70 years old, and there might be some older than that. Not many people doing this. People don't know it. They don't even know about this hobby. It's the big boys with their enjoyable toys and their very unique hobby. For Channel 5 News, I'm Rick Diaz. Call me.